how to make this reaction diffusion effect. I start out with a noise just as my initial sort of seed for it. And then I go into a feedback. Um, the noise becomes the first frame of my feedback. Then um, for the reaction part of reaction diffusion, I go into my palette and go to tool or go, sorry, image generators and sharpen. And I pull that in, connect the sharpen, and I turn that up to one full sharpen. And then I add on a blur and that goes into a cross or crossover. I connect that with my initial noise. This will come in handy here in a second and then connect the crossover back to a feedback and I get this nice reaction diffusion uh, pattern. Uh, to change it, I can make the line size increase by increasing my blur amount. Um, or I can do things like animate it by going into my noise, animating the, uh, the Z value in the translate of the noise. Um, I can also do things like in the blur, I can make sure I repeat so I don't get some, you know, the weird sort of edge lines coming through. Um, another fun thing you can do is I'm going to copy and paste this noise and use this uh, as part of a Luma blur. And what this is gonna allow me to do is instead of blurring the whole thing uh, uniformly, I can blur different parts based on the gray and white values. So I'm gonna scale this up, uh, scale this up a bit and maybe even slow it down Uh, and then play with my crossover to get a little bit different effect. In the Luma Blur, you can start to play with the, the blur amounts as well. So switching between the crossover amount, there we go, the crossover amount and the blur amounts, I can start to get different line sizes. Um, and this is happening because, you, as you may be able to see, the uh, the areas that are are white are getting blurred more than the areas that are black from my noise. Uh, <clears throat> another fun addition is also adding something like a transform in, so that I can do a uh, sort of zoom effect, or even a maybe a rotate effect. So I use this effect for all sorts of things. If I'm, I'm building a, a generative effect, uh, you can add things like text or motion or uh, by even just changing the noise to not being monochrome, add some interesting effects to the edges of what's happening here. You get sort of all four different colors have their own separate reaction diffusion effect happening.